Hey guys, it's Sheila. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about my new business. It's something that I started during the holidays and I'm super excited to finally show it to you guys. I don't have most of it like figured out yet. I guess everything is ordered, but not everything has come to like has gotten delivered. So I'm working in small phases, which I think is better for when you're starting something new and figuring it out as you go. So yeah, I started doing um, soy candles and concrete vessels and everything is completely handmade. I'm making this at my apartment at my home. So during the holidays, I was just searching for something to do because I don't have really like a winter sport or like a winter hobby, I should say, um, uh, that I can do. And I live in the Adirondacks, so it's very cold here. So if you don't ski or snowboard or cross country ski or winter hike, there's really not much to do. And it's kind of really boring to be honest. So I started experimenting with um, soy candles and I absolutely love the idea of making my home smell good. It's something that me and my boyfriend love to do. We have tons of candles, but I was always like super intrigued by, uh, you know, making my own. I had made little ones here and there with like Amazon kits and stuff like that, like throughout the years. But I just wanted to have a scent that was that I created and of course going through the um, process of you know doing it all myself so um, as I was doing that I also came across a YouTube channel that was showing how to make concrete vessels and they showed this cylinder like cylinder jar for their candles and I was like it just clicked on me that I, that's what I wanted to do and it was just so unique and just looks so much like me that I was like, that is it. That is my brand. Um, so I order everything and I'm starting to make all the vessels and everything. The fragrances and wax that I order, like the big order, not the ones that I like tried on first, um, are coming, but they are very slow delivery. Like I already contacted the the company and I was like, where are my stuff? Like I order over a month ago, but um, it just hasn't gotten to me and I'm still waiting on that, which is kind of good in a sense because it gives me the time to get all the concrete vessels done. Um, I do have to wait for them to cure a couple of days, then I have to seal them and then I have to wait a couple more days to put the actual wax in. So I guess it gives me time to have all of them prepared. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you. I have about 18 of them, I think done. And I'm still experimenting with like the colors and how I want them to look like because they are a little bit tricky, um, but I need to have at least 60 to launch. I'm starting out with five fragrances, but I am going to have like small quantity of them. So I want them to have like their very specific dark color for each fragrance or like a little variation that you can choose from. So I'll show you guys what I'm doing. I already did some clips last night of two that I um, unmolded. I only have two molds, so it's a really, really tricky because I have to wait three hours in between. So I'm working very slowly and kind of making them as I go. But I think everything is gonna turn out really pretty and I love them. I ordered three more molds, I think, but they haven't come yet. So I'm gonna have a variety of concrete candles, um, sachets. I'm gonna have um, wax melts. Uh, what else? Uh, jewelry boxes and coasters. So I also need some molds for the coasters as well. And yeah, let's go ahead and see them. So I poured this jar and then I made enough for a coaster. But then I realized I had a little bit left, so I made a third one. So I have them all sitting here and I also have this jar right here because I'm trying to recreate one that I made um, yesterday and I made two after it and I just can't get the same color for some reason. These are the ones that I was trying that I made trying to emulate the ones I, the one I liked from yesterday, but I'll show you, actually not this one because this one is one of my colors, but these three, I just couldn't do it. Um, I'll show you the one that I really like. It is this one. So it has a little bit of gold shimmer. It's, uh, it has a lot of white, but it's a little bit tan on the tan side. If I put it next to this one, you can probably see that one is more white, grayish, and the other one's more tan. But I just love the finish of this one, and I kind of did it accidentally. So now I'm, like, really struggling to recreate it. <laughs> Show you guys my setup. This is my small apartment, so I just have this table right here where I'm working. Um, I have my shop towels. Just these have to be, um, this were sanded, so I just have them there. And then these are just curing. Usually when I make them, I leave them here for about three to four days and then I seal them, leave them here for three to four more days and then I'll go ahead and uh, pour the candle in. And then I'll show you where all of my supplies are. So here is the cement 
that I am using. I'm using Cement All, which they don't sell around me, unfortunately, because there's no Home Depot. And then here are the pigments and the cups <laughs> and all of my packaging area. This is all very new and it all like got delivered to me within this week. So I haven't had like any time to put it away or organize or even think about how I'm going to set everything up. But basically I just have these totes. I think this one is for the concrete. That one over there is for packaging and this one over here is for the candles or I'm not sure if I set them in the right order but I just got this um, label range printer today for the uh, for printing the labels that I got from Amazon and these look really nice. I haven't opened the printer but the shipping labels are 4 by 6 and they bring a ton in there and that was about $20 so I'm super excited. So I'll be printing those at home and probably saving myself um, I don't know if I'll be saving money, but they'll definitely look cuter than like printing them out in, you know, a regular printer. So yeah, I'm using this distilled water from Target. Shop towels I've got from Amazon. It's a big package because I use them a ton. And I will mention something about the cups that I didn't notice because I order them um, for pickup. And it's that they're not completely circular on the bottom so cement gets stuck on the corners so just be aware of that if you are going to get cups just make sure that they don't have like little corners like this because it makes it hard so basically i'm just waiting three hours three to four hours for these to dry up and then we'll take them out of there i'm still waiting for these to dry they have about 30 minutes left but i wanted to show you how the colors um, have changed so I have a, like a Merlot color which is in my collection but I wanted to see if I put just a little bit less if I could get a pink one because I want to use this for Valentine's Day um, so this is how they're looking and then this one it's probably going to be a little bit whiter than what it looks like now or I should say like a beige color and even when you demold them the colors are going to look um, a little bit lighter like after 24 hours because that's how concrete works so it's not like much difference but it they'll definitely um definitely look lighter so yeah i think these came out pretty good so far if you touch them after like an hour and a half and they feel warm it means it means that everything in there it's like working pretty well and they do feel warm so i'm excited so i just demolded these and that's how they came out i really like the pink um i wouldn't say but it's pink. I feel like the lighting in here is making it look weird, but I really like it. It's just more opaque than I was expecting. And then this one um, had shimmer in it, and the shimmer kind of disappeared. I think I mixed it too well, um, but I still like it. I think it's going to look cool. It's more like a light gray, like off-white, but grayish. So that's them. So these are the ones that I showed last night. They obviously look brighter because it is daytime now and last night it was very dark in here. But even so, they are definitely lighter um, just because they sat overnight and concrete kind of gets a little bit lighter. You can definitely see the difference here with these two because um, it had like a lot of moisture on the side so it looked very dark and it completely dried. The inside still looks a little bit dark, but as they sit here for three or four days, that will definitely go down. Look how beautiful they look though. So these are gonna be the coasters and you can use them as the candle plates or you can use them for your glasses, your drinks, or even jewelry. I was gonna use, I was gonna sell hexagons and round ones, but the round ones seem to have a bump in the middle. So I don't feel comfortable selling that to someone to put their like drink glasses on. So I'm gonna sell these as just jewelry um trays that you can put like next to your bed and i think they're so adorable very cute so let's go over to my table here where i have the ones that i have already curated so i am thinking that i'm gonna have these two as these are like a merlot color oh this one's getting much lighter it looks very opaque hmm. okay so i have this merlot color this chocolate one these ones are like beige with some gold shimmers in it this one is um, the middle one it's um, just kind of white grayish I, I guess off white and then we have this sand one or tan and then we have some beige ones with no shimmer and then as well we have one that's a little darker I would call this like a sand color 
So that is my collection colors. Very cute. I'm gonna be on molding today. Um, as I said before, I am trying to achieve that like beige color with some gold shimmer in it. Um, so normally I do mold them on top of the trash can because I just, you know, the concrete that's on top kind of peels off and I don't want a lot of mess in my apartment. These are much better to be mold when you're not wearing gloves, which is annoying because I don't really wanna to have to like put my hands on the actual concrete or, you know, um, but they're kind of impossible to do when you have gloves on because you have to really grip onto these. So I'm just gonna start going backwards like this and it just takes a little bit of practice to demold these, but I just tried to go around and kind of push back and go around with my fingers like this <laughs> until I get all of it down. There you go. And once I get all the way to the other side, I flip it and this is actually the hardest part. So what I do is I put my finger through here. I hope you can see I put my finger through there and push with like this part of my hand upwards until I get over that slit. And I do that on like each side. Sometimes it's easy. And I got all of my tips from the YouTube channel Calafia Candle and she mentioned that if you cut like the edge of the mold on the bottom because it had like a little slit, um, it's much easier and she's totally right. I struggled so hard when I first got it and it's just much easier to me. And then once it's over like that, you just kind of pull like this. Oh, this one has a crack in it. Yep, this one cracked. I don't know if you can see it, but that is really a shame because I love the color of it. I don't know if there's any fix into this one, but I probably put too much plaster of Paris, which is how, yep, it totally cracked. It definitely had either too much water or too much plaster of Paris, which is, of course, the one I'm demolding on camera, this happens to, but this is a risk that you take and you can see how beautiful it was gonna be, especially on the inside. I put some gold um, metallic shimmer, which is this one, like metallic paint, which is this one that I use. Um, but most of it like concentrated on the inside, which is fine, but it broke. So, okay, let's move on to the next one and hope that I didn't put too much water in it. So now I'm afraid. <laughs> This one looks gorgeous. I'm sure it's gonna have like most of the paint inside because that's where I put it. Yep. Okay, so this is how it looks like and it's a little wet to the touch just because like I said, it's gonna be drying out for a couple of days. Um, I'm gonna leave it here for 24 hours sitting here. These are like my new ones. And then after that I sand them and they go to that table over there and then they wait three days then I seal them and then wait four days and then they can be, um, you can put wax in them. But we only have a little bubble right here. But overall, they look really good. I love it. When I was um, first like researching everything with the concrete, I first thought that the concrete vessels were going to be very heavy. And they are actually super light. Like this way maybe, well let's weigh them right here. I have this little... It says it weighs 10.8 ounces, and I don't know how much is in pounds, but it's just a zero pound, so I guess it doesn't even measure, it doesn't even weigh one pound. So they're very light, and the other thing that um, I was thinking that it was gonna be super messy to clean up, I got these shop towels, um, and they're great. I got them from Amazon, and they're like about $18 for like a set of uh, nine, I think. Um, and I use them for everything, so I just lay them down on this table that I have. It's like my arts and crafts table. And so the mess is like here. I don't know if you can see that, but like it's messy, but it's right there. Nothing goes like off the table. And um, I use these spatula, which I got from Family Dollar. They were about like a dollar for three. So I use, um, I use this solo cups to mix the concrete. And then I have a solo cup for water. And then what I do is I wait for them to dry and then I kind of do like this and crack them and throw them away in the trash can. I don't pour any of this down the sink. You definitely don't want to do that. 
And then um, with these, you kind of bend them and get all the concrete off of it. It just falls right off. So it's super easy. But I do want to say something. After you unmold them, these get like a little sandy. So you definitely want to wash them out with um, warm water. So what I do is I, if I have any um, excess up here that is dry, I kind of do like this until it comes off because I don't want to um, have anything going down the drain that is concrete. I just want to, like, if anything's going down the drain, it's going to be, like, you know, these little things. So then I just wash them off with warm water and kind of do like this with my finger, and it comes right off. And then I flip them because you, don't, you want to have them always in the actual shape that it came in. Otherwise, this right here is going to have to, it's going to start to break. So what I do is I just take one of the shop towels, dry it off and then flip it and dry it off on the other side and I'm ready to use it again. So super quick and easy. And I also wanted to mention these little gold foils. I have gold, silver, and kind of bronze. And I wanna use them for the concrete vessels, but I can't make, I can't, I'm not sure how to put them on the outside since the concrete moves around so much. So I'm just gonna to have to, you know, experiment a little bit with this ones, but I wanna have all of them done before I do that. Um, and yeah, that is, I guess, everything that I wanted to show today. So let's get these cleaned and let's get ready to make another batch. So I have my gloves on and I'm putting on a mask because you probably have something more protective than this, but this is just what I have. Um, hopefully you can hear me okay. So I have two cups here, both with one cup of cement. Um, I am making two different colors. So this one has a little bit of plaster of Paris and then, um, pigment. Um, this is, this one's going to be a sand one and I want it to be just a lighter sand. So I put a little bit of plaster of Paris and then this one has one cup of cement and then the brown color with just a slightly bit of plaster of Paris to make it a little bit lighter. Um, and then for each, I'm going to do kind of like a four to one ratio with the water. Um, and I started measuring it, but it was so different each time that <laughs> It was just not consistent. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna um, kind of do it by eye. So what I do first is I mix this up to make sure that the color goes everywhere. And I'm not gonna put any pigment on either of these. So it should just be very straightforward and quick. So I'm mixing this one up and then mix this up. Okay, so I'm gonna start with one at a time. And what I'm gonna do is pour some water in here. Oh, and I was gonna say, you wanna have your spoon inside first and I kind of make a little hole so the water goes straight to the bottom. So I do it like this, so you can see like the bottom of it. And I pour my water, let it sit in there for a couple seconds. You're gonna see like bubbles on the concrete so you know it's working. So I pour a lot of water first kind of like 70% of the water that I have poured. And then I start moving it. And as soon as I do, I'm gonna know if I'm gonna need more water or not. This sets very quickly, so you don't want it to start drying. So I know I need a little bit more water. And what you want is like a pancake consistency. Like I said, when you're using paint, if it's really thick, you're gonna want it a little bit le uh, more runny than just a regular candle or a regular vessel, but these are definitely not ideal spoons that you wanna use with these. They work, but they just are uh, a little bit hard to work with. So as you can see, I have to kind of um, use my finger to get the concrete out because it gets stuck in chunks. And you also wanna move quickly because it starts setting on the bottom and then you start losing um, you know, your batch and you might not have enough. So you wanna get rid of like all the um, little chunks of concrete. And I think this one's ready to pour. So I'm just gonna start pouring it. So I take my mold and I start pouring. And then I start doing like this and giving it hits to the table so I know it's going all the way down. And this way I'm also getting rid of all those bubbles. You want it to be flat with the mold 
So I'm going to pour just a little bit more, but you don't want it to go over. So I'm going to do like this. You can see where you're missing some if you see kind of like a little edge. And that is just a quick fix. We're just going to pour everything we have in there. And it's not slight, it's not completely in there. So let's see if we have a little bit more. And then after you have it all in there, you start tapping it for about like 30 seconds to make sure that you don't have any bubbles. And you want to make sure that the surface that you put it on is completely straight. I like doing like this. I also have a little machine that kind of gets rid of bubbles, but um, my friend gifted it to me, so it hasn't gotten here. I think it's getting here today, so that's gonna be probably a game changer. I'm excited to see uh, what difference that makes, but I haven't had much trouble with bubbles um, since I started doing it because I just tap it as much as I can. And I didn't have a spoon, but I found this stick that I use for waxing, so we're just gonna try it. It's not super strong, so hopefully it doesn't break in there but let's start now we're making the tan one and i poured about the same amount of water i'm going to let it sit in there for a second and then start mixing it i know i mentioned this on a previous clip i think yesterday um but i got solo cups that aren't completely round so it makes it hard because the concrete likes to gather like on the corners of this <laughs> and you have to really like dig in there and get it out. Um, you can feel when it started to dry on the bottom. I think that is a good texture, but I'm afraid that the same thing is gonna happen where we don't have enough because I can feel some of it drying already. So I'm just gonna have to move quickly and pour it. I'm gonna do just a tad bit of water because I feel like it's gonna dry as I pour it. That is something else that happens to me. Um, sometimes it looks like pancake batter on the top and then as you start pouring it it completely starts drying up so you have to be really careful all right so I'm going to start pouring tap all around you can also like squish it on all the sides okay a little more You don't want to pour too much. It has to be the exact measure to be flat on the sides. This one has the same issue. It's just not going to be. If you pour too much, you want to kind of take a spoon out and um, scoop some out of it. You can totally do that and then kind of tap it again so it takes like the shape of if you had just poured it. You can see the bubbles like disappear and create as you move it around. Okay, so now we're gonna wait three hours for these to dry up, at least three hours. I would wait a little bit longer if you know um, your mixture was very watery or if it's gonna have like a lot of moisture in there. The ones that I left yesterday, I left them overnight and when I opened 
the one this morning you guys saw that it was broken. I can definitely reuse these gloves, so I'm just gonna set them here because I don't like, like wasting too much uh, material. But um, I hate wasting the cups, but at the same time, like I really have no other idea of how I would make them. I have seen people use like silicone molds and I think that's a great idea with some silicone um, spoons, but I just haven't looked into it and I feel like I've spent so much money and I haven't lunch yet. So I'm scared to um, buy too many things at once, but yeah, now we're gonna wait. So let me show you a little closer. You can tap them. If you see some bubbles coming up, you can still tap them. Um, and as you go, like as the time goes on, an hour and a half from now, it's gonna feel a little bit warm to the touch and that's how you know like that the mixture is actually working and it's gonna turn out good. They're definitely, they're gonna look darker and they're gonna start um, getting lighter and lighter as time goes on. But you can see like how the bubbles come up as it's drying. This one, this top is completely dry so I can't do anything about those bubbles, but they just kind of show up on their own and that's okay. That's something that just happens with this medium and that's just how it works. But as you can see on the final result, the bubbles look kind of cute and give it a little bit of texture. I mean, these all of mine don't look like this, but when they do, um, I guess it's okay. It's up to the touch, which I love. I feel like it's so um, modern looking and feeling. So I only seal the inside because it gives it kind of a sheen and I don't really want a sheen on the outside of the vessels. So yeah. So I just got back from shopping. I went to Walmart and I first went to Family Dollar and I got these um, spatulas just because this is, these are the ones that I'm using right now until I get some um, painters like sticks. I don't have like a Home Depot or Lowe's near me. So that's what we're working on. And then I went to Walmart just to pick up an order that I placed online for two more metallic gold paints because I love these. I wanted the rose gold one, but they don't have one in the store that I shop and yeah, I'm probably gonna have to get it like when I go to Saratoga. And then I also got these little um, cups. I think they're called anchors. I'm not sure what they're called, but they're glass. And the reason I got so many of them is because I wanna have one for every fragrance and they're also um, glass. So I don't have to worry about like, you know, anything happening with um, them being plastic. So they really close this like very well. I also got some other packages, so I wanna um, open those on camera. Maybe it'll be something fun we can do together. So I got three of these. I should've gotten five. I don't know why I got three, but I thought I got five. But these are them, they're so cute, very small, and I'm just gonna use them for fragrances. That way, I'm probably gonna mark the ones that I use with the same fragrance every time, so I don't have to like mix them up and have to clean them out or anything. Okay, so that's that. We're gonna put this aside, and then we're gonna start with the packages. I should probably have like an like a box opener. It's also been a couple of hours since I um, put those two cups in, those two vessels. So they're probably ready to be unmolded. So we're gonna do that soon as well. So I don't know which ones these are from. Oh, my stamp. This was very quick, wow. Wow, that is the most obnoxious sound I've ever heard, but I am so beyond impressed with the shipping of this. So basically I got this stamp from rubberstamps.net, uh, not .com, and I opted to have this as my um, packaging stamp. And so it has my logo as Sheila G. Brick Candle Co. Obviously you can see it here in the front how it's gonna stamp, but on the back it's just uh, flipped, obviously, because you stamped. But the quality of it, it's really nice. You can get it with a handle, um, it's no additional cost. It was really inexpensive and super easy to just upload your um, logo and I absolutely love it. This one is a size three by three um, and I forget how much it costs, but yeah, really like it. I'm gonna definitely test this one out <laughs> right after I finish uh, molding those. And then let's keep opening. The only thing that really annoys me with um, the whole candle making stuff is like, it's really easy to find the products that you wanna use, but you have to pay shipping on each one of them. And that just keeps driving the price up of your candles because you can't get everything in the same place. Um, 
I don't know why this is mine. It is mine. Oh, my stamp. Okay, so this one is with my logo. And this one's for my um, wax stamp. I don't know if you can see my logo right there. Absolutely beautiful. I love this one. I'm gonna use it with um, some beige wax, which should be here if that got here because I ordered them together. <laughs> but I'm gonna keep this little box too. So this one doesn't, wow, amazing. I'm so excited. So this is some uh, dried fruit that I order from some sachets that I'm making. And I order so many of them, so I'm gonna have to wait till it all gets here. This one's trash. I don't know where to put anything. Okay, this is mine. Online labels. So I think these are the labels for my candles that I ordered. I think I ordered two by two, but I think I should have done like two by three. Um, recyclable. It's recyclable craft tape. And this one, I don't think it's supposed to, um, there's ones that you activate them with water. I don't think this one is like that. It has some adhesive attached to it. So that is all the packages that I got today. I mean, I think that's plenty. And I am so, so excited. I'm gonna put these probably in here for now. And let me just start cleaning up because I can't stand messes. So my candles are gonna go in a small box. I think it's six by four by four, but then I wanted to put that box inside of another one just to give it a little bit more protection. So I ordered these from Walmart. And this one's I think are 10 by five by five. Everything I'm mentioning is gonna be linked down below, but they just got delivered literally when I <laughs> turned the camera off and one got scratched right here. Um, so that was one that I can't use. It comes in a in a 50, uh, in a bundle of 50. And then I guess I left this open for you to grab it, but I mean, it's snowing outside and the cardboard is right there. So these were not cheap. I'm just like, couldn't they have put some like protect protection in the front and back so I don't lose a box? So yeah, you can kind of like twist and pull, but sometimes you have to really pull. So this one has three big bubbles on the top. And again, these are, this is something that I mentioned on my website that they're gonna have slight um, differences between the vessels and probably small bubbles. I don't think this is much of a problem. Um, if it was like bigger than this, then I would probably take that one out and not use it to sell it. But I think it will actually add some um, character to it. And I really like it, honestly. We're gonna go with a brown one. This one is the second one that I'm making in this color. And I really like this color. I'm gonna use this one for a um, coffee candle. So I think it's like super fitting. I love the color. The other thing is that the um, concrete, ooh, the concrete um, pigment that I use, it's very, very, very strong and it just gets on everything, absolutely everything. So if you have, um, if you're using gloves that you were using with the concrete pigment and you touch the vessel after it's been, after you, when you're demolding it, it's probably going to stain it a little bit. So just keep that in mind as well. I don't know if I'm gonna do like any pre-orders or anything, but so far, I don't think I am. Okay, so this one, this is how it looks. Pretty nice. Very cool. I think it fits the coffee theme very well, so I'm very excited. It's kind of hard. So I'm gonna put a little bit of weight to it, see if that works. Oh, that's amazing. I love it. So I just realized that my camera was crooked. I hope it wasn't crooked like the whole video because that would have sucked. <laughs> but basically, I am really excited about like this, um, all these products that I'm making and I think people are really gonna like it. But at the same time, I'm kind of scared because I've never actually put myself out there to like sell a product. Um, if you guys didn't know, I'm a wedding photographer and videographer. So I do deal with like a lot of clients um, on a daily, but that's different than like putting a product out there and having the product already made and already having spent that money 
before um, having someone purchase it. So that's a little scary on my part, but I am having so much fun making these products and especially making the concrete vessels. I can't wait for um, to see the jewelry boxes. I think those gonna be there's, they're gonna be a hit. Um, I wanted to have them before Valentine's Day because I think it's gonna be like a huge um, time where I can um, sell things like this, but that's probably not gonna happen because things are just taking a long time to get to me. But yeah, today was a little bit of a showing you guys what I've been doing, what I've been up to, and how I make my concrete candles. If you guys, um, if you have any questions onto any of the steps that I'm doing or any suggestions, um, let me know below. And like I said, everything's gonna be linked down below. And yeah, thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a great day and don't forget to subscribe below, like this video, and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye. Bye.